Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and we have a big errands day today because I feel like we're finally at that point where like our routine is getting back to normal. We have no food to cook. Honestly, that's like the only goal of today, to be honest. We're going to Costco first though, because I really want to get, well, for my birthday, I told my parents that I wanted the Dyson vacuum, but they didn't know like the best place to buy it because I also didn't know that. And our Costco card had issues, so it finally got resolved. So we're gonna finally go to Costco, see if, I'm hoping that's the best price so then I can just get it then and there. If not, I went to Costco for kind of no reason and I'm just gonna order it online. But I really want the Dyson wireless vacuum. I just feel like if I have that and I can just pull it out of the closet and vacuum, I'll vacuum like every day and not complain about it. And I think it would be a good investment. So that's the first stop of the day, but we also just get, I feel like we honestly haven't done a Costco trip in a long time. I don't know what other house stuff we really need, but we also just get like a lot of our meats there. So unfortunately, I think what we're going to have to do is go to Costco, come back home, drop off the food. Then I finally filled another film roll up off my Amazon film camera. This is literally a $25 camera. I'll have it linked down below in my Amazon storefront, but it is so cheap and the pictures are now so good as you can see so i finally filled another roll so i want to get this developed because i want to have them like almost in real time like we literally just filled this up the cruise weekend and then the weekend in fort myers so they're all pretty like recent and then while we're there i want to go to trader joe's i'm crossing my fingers that they have chicken soup dumplings because the last like <coughs> three times i've gone they haven't had any and then i guess we're just starting this off being really chatty actually i'm gonna make my coffee while we chat um Today is officially my first Wednesday that I don't have to go to the gym at all. Not one single time. I have Mondays and Wednesdays off this year. We'll talk about that more later, but oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, gonna chug this and then let's go get ready. I just got a package in from Princess Polly and I was gonna wear this cute little like overall set today, but then we've had like terrible weather. Like it's too early in the year for the weather that we've been having, but like we have had like torrential, like scary downpours literally almost every single day. And I just looked at the weather and I feel like it's gonna rain all day. So I feel like I'd be dumb to not wear something with a hood. We should also really invest in an umbrella. Honestly, maybe I'll order one today because I feel like I'm consistently having to like run out in the rain lately and I never have an umbrella, which then that would also help and then I could wear whatever outfit I wanted. But I guess we're back to the drawing board because that clearly does have a hood. Lately I feel like I've been so good about like looking cute but still being comfy and like going for the cool girl vibe everywhere I've gone. But today I guess just doesn't count because the rain is really just Ruining my outfit, so we just have a Nike hoodie on, Nike biker shorts, and my university blues. At least it like matches, right? Like it's kind of looks good. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to Costco. <laughs> this he's a little kid in Costco. Like this is his. Playground. But guys, I think this is really convenient. I think about when you're at the beach and you're so tired and you're drunk, it's just like, wow. Love that for you. I do think we should get a beach umbrella, though. I feel like we could get good use out of this. When we were at the beach with Sean and Lexi, they had one. And I feel like we should have one. Well, I guess it's a good thing that he goes up and down every aisle and finds other things because I think the vacuum was a bust here. It's There's like a Memorial Day sale on the actual Dyson website, and it's way cheaper there than it is here. So, I guess we're just gonna have to order it. But they don't even have the one I was looking at here anyway. But I couldn't, you know, it's fine. We needed to come to Costco anyway. We haven't been here in a very long time. So, just not for what we planned for. This is what Gabby really comes for everybody. Yeah, this, the holy grail of Costco. Okay, so the trip wasn't a bust at all. We're still going up and down aisles, but 
we've never tried this we get the tortellini every time we're here this looks like i'm doing this all as we're literally walking this looks like the liquid toro sauce that we pick up from the food truck that we rave about so i'm excited to try this because it literally looks exact and i feel like that's basically what it is these i was told are like literally the starbucks egg white bites which we love so we're gonna try those we got a lot of stuff actually mango peach salsa we normally get this from Publix, but like the little one so picked up a big one he loves pickled onions so we're getting this whole thing so good. he is a new raving fan of chicken tiki masala i don't know if i like it i've never tried it so we'll see burrata this shrimp you guys saw and then just all the meats so far things are adding up oh and we got a case of water that was honestly one of our cheaper Costco trips. But now we have to carry all of this. Luckily, honestly, we packed it up pretty nicely so we can each just take one of those. Multiple flights of stairs. God, I cannot wait to be out of this apartment and have just a driveway where we get to pull in, go into the house. Oh, I can't wait. He's been seeing this Brazilian, well, it's called Brazilian lemonade, but it's, it's limeade. Brazilian, it's Brazilian lemonade, but how they do it is they, you know, you cut up some limes, you blend that with water, you strain it, and then you add uh, condensed milk, some ice, and then it, uh, you blend that. And apparently it's supposed to be really good. We're gonna try it. And then we're gonna get some lemons for lemon water, which we haven't had fresh lemon water in a really long time. <laughs> no! Wow. He's had to say something stupid. No! Oh. These were good though. I'm so sad. I just had a feeling. Why have they been gone so much? Because everybody likes these shows. I get that, but like me too. You like these, right? Better than the gyoza? Oh yeah, those are way better. Two or three? One is for now. Oh. Okay. Are you making cheese plates? They were really good. Right, we uh, we still have one. Acid. We still have do one. one more. Okay. Ooh, should I do it? Yes. Okay. I'm on a mozzarella stick kick lately. We just asked a worker for chicken soup dumplings. I'm gonna do my lucky girl syndrome. I'm so lucky and everything good happens to me and I'm manifesting that they're gonna have them in the back somehow. Please, Trader Joe's gods, yes, look out for me today. It didn't work. How many should we get? Should we just do coffee? The coffee one, yeah. How did this already get this full? That might've been our fastest Trader Joe's trip ever. I feel like we got it down to a science now. We know exactly what we want. Where it's at. Yeah, I'm very sad about that. I cannot believe, I feel like we used to get chicken soup dumplings so easily every time we were here. I just think they become more popular, so. I guess, but it's also not like the typical season. I feel like people would buy them. So I'm shocked that they're still sold out. Yeah. We also just don't come early enough in the day, I guess. But, uh, Very true, because I got a shipment in last night. Mm -hmm. And, and she said too. tonight, again. But overall, food trip was a success. I am going to try not to order out anything, lunch is included, for at least two weeks. So hold me to it. We're going to do a lot of cooking, which I've been loving lately. So honestly, I'm not mad about it. Where is this place? Um, in 3.6 miles, turn left. So last okay. stop of the day, dropping off the film to get developed, which I'm very excited about. All right, I feel like I showed you most of everything as we were kind of like adding it to the cart. So we'll just do a super quick haul, but we got Tuscan pan bread for bruschetta, which honestly I'm gonna leave that out because we're gonna do that for lunch. He wanted some like non bread to eat with his chicken chicken masala. Brussels sprouts, chicken cilantro wontons. I'm gonna like re need to reorganize the freezer because I don't know where any of this is going. Mozzarella sticks, finally. I, I don't know why lately I just am always wanting mozzarella sticks. Then we got Bananas, avocado, lemons, limes, onion. Although they didn't have sweet and condensed milk, so he's not gonna be able to make this Brazilian lemonade. I don't know why it's called lemonade. I feel like it should be limeade, but that's gonna have to wait another day because we're gonna need to run to Publix for that. I don't even see you add these. Chocolate croissants, sweet Italian sausage. It is so good from Trader Joe's. These little mini chicken tacos, I feel like I've heard that these are really good. So I was like, cool, we'll try them. Because like I said, I don't want to order food out for like a long time. So anything that we can just have on deck for lunches, I wanted to get. Potato pancakes, Justin added those. 
carne asada. I don't know if I've ever tried this frozen pasta. The guy checking us out said that this was like his absolute favorite. It's the best one. The cheese filled, you know, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna butcher that name. That, haven't tried it yet. Then the gnocchi sorrentina, this little cheese platter to snack on. Three hold the cones, the coffee ones are the best one, although I've literally never tried a bad one. So we've also had just the normal vanilla, the chocolate chip, the chocolate, but the coffee ones are bussin'. We got some milk. And finally, the last bag. He wanted some waffles. He got the Philly cheesesteak bao buns. I haven't tried these. He tried them the last time that we were here. Or that we had them, he said they were really good. I've not tried them myself. We got two of those. Mac and cheese bites. I'm pretty sure we already have one of these in the freezer, but it's fine. The onion's falling out. And then bruschetta, which we're gonna have for lunch, like I said, and some more hash browns for some avocado toast. And that concludes our giant food haul. I do feel like it was one of our cheaper days and I feel like we got a nice variety. So I am not mad about it. I'm gonna put all of this away, probably have to rearrange the freezer and fridge area, and then we'll get to making some lunch. She is very full. I don't really know how we even fit everything, but we are officially stocked up, good to go. Lots of food. This looks absolutely phenomenal. And we're gonna watch the Michael Jordan movie. I'm shocked that we haven't seen it in development. It is quite a few hours later. The bruschetta was so good that we didn't even end up, we were planning on eating some shrimp for lunch today too, but it was so good and so filling. So we didn't even end up eating anything else, but I have about like 40 minutes until I need to start cooking dinner. And honestly, I'm very hungry. So we're gonna snack on some shrimp. But since last time I talked to you, oh, the movie was actually really good, really enjoyed it. And then I had a really productive work day at home. So we're gonna snack and I'm gonna catch you up because I feel like I just haven't done a life update and I wanna make this a chatty vlog and I feel like I have a lot to talk about. So where do we even start? I guess let's start with, well, like I kind of like jotted down what I wanna talk about because it's probably gonna turn into like somewhat of just like a venting therapy session. But obviously, so today is my first day, my first Wednesday where I'm gonna be home every day because I obviously only have to go to Top Gun now Tuesday, Thursdays, which is absolutely amazing. And I've been wanting this for a really long time, but I'm trying to think back to like the last time I had full days off. And I feel like I, I, I don't know, probably like high school, like 10 years ago was the last time I really like just had some freedom in my life. So I feel like it's gonna be a weird adjustment and I think what's gonna make it really weird and just not an easy change is that I'm like resenting this apartment right now. Like I hate every square inch of it. Besides like everything that we redid lately, like I like the living room, I like the decor there. I absolutely hate everything in my bedroom besides like my bed frame, I do like that. Hate everything else. Well, okay, that's not true. The like, Furniture wise, I don't hate. Decor wise, I almost hate everything. I hate that the walls are beige. I've hated that since I've moved in. I want white walls so bad. The kitchen is hideous. I'm so not like a wood, warm tone, dark person. I just feel like with my job, I was gonna like today, I was like, oh, I wanna make some cute TikToks. I can't anywhere in my house. Like I hate everything in the apartment right now, like really bad. And I feel like because like anytime I'm away, I've been doing so much traveling. I've been to the beach so much. like. My life has been a dream until I get home and especially me being such a homebody. And I just feel so like uninspired and sad and just not like, I feel like I don't enjoy my life when I'm at home alone, mainly because obviously when Justin's here, like we're doing stuff, I'm entertained, I'm distracted. But when I'm truly just like home alone, I hate this apartment so much. I've lived here too long and I feel like I've been so stressed with the home buying process that I've just been like putting it off and just kind of procrastinating with it. But I'm at the point now where like, it absolutely needs to happen. It's about to start up again. I just got re pre-approved. We're gonna have a meeting with the realtor soon and just start touring the crap out of anything and everything that's on the market just to get a better idea because we're very open to location wise. But that's another thing is also just like the location. Like I hate 
Kendall, I do. We have nothing around here, nothing that I would enjoy doing. Like we spent the last weekend at Lexi and Sean's and they just live in such a good area where like everything is around. And that is not the case here at all. So I just feel like I've been in such a funk when it comes to just being home. And I'm a little bit nervous because now I'm gonna be home so much more, which is what I've been wanting for so long. But then it's also like, I feel like then the more I'm home, the more I hate being home. Like I like to keep myself busy and I feel like as much as I need this because I need to focus on social media and have more time for social media and just like more time for myself, I feel like it's gonna be a really hard change at first because I've just been hating here really bad. This is what I wrote in my notes last night. It says, let's chat. I'm in a funk. I have more time at home, but for some reason I'm almost stressed about filling the time. I'm in such a negative headspace about the apartment. Nothing about my physical home excites me, obviously besides Cloud and Justin, but I hate the decor. I wanna redo everything, but that's such a waste because we're gonna be moving. I wanna move so mad, but I don't know what the right thing to do is. House hunting is so stressful and everyone says the market is crazy right now. So am I dumb to move, but I'm literally miserable here. I hate the location of our apartment. There's nothing around and nowhere I feel safe to go alone. So like when I'm home, I feel like I'm just trapped at home, but I don't, this is my rant. I don't know. There's like nothing really you guys can say to help me. Maybe if you can relate at all, maybe that would make me feel a little bit better so that I'm not alone. But I genuinely just, I, I don't wake up like excited to be in this apartment at all. Like I get excited to leave the house and I'm such a homebody, so I love being home. So the fact that I hate being home but want to be home is a really weird position to be in. So that is kind of where I'm at right now. I obviously, as we go, I'm gonna get into a better routine of being home every day. But even like today, I after I was done working, I walked Cloud and then I was like, I need a shower today. And like normally I'm at the gym every night, so I shower when I get home from the gym and I'm like, I need to figure out a shower routine on my days off because this is gonna be weird. But I'm excited for it all. I'm excited that I have more time to go house hunting. I'm excited that I have more time for myself. Maybe I'll get into a better habit of reading, taking myself on dates, just doing more fun things for me. Lexi's gonna be in Miami almost all of June, which is gonna be really fun. I feel like it's a good time to have that happen as I'm like adjusting to this new schedule. But yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to have a little chatty life update in this vlog because I feel like a lot is changing and it, it probably seems so minor, but genuinely like I have been at the gym every single day of my life for the last like six, seven years. Ever since I started working at Top Gun, like I was there every day. So it is going to be a weird adjustment, that's for sure. But I'm excited about it. I wanna be posting way more. I wanna be vlogging more. That's the other thing is like, I wanna be making more content, but like when I'm home, I hate everything about this place. So like I'm not inspired to make content. So we gotta figure all that out. All I know is the house hunting process, the like touring houses, the moving furniture, decorating, organizing, all of that stuff is coming. And I'm so excited for that kind of content. So I think that'll, is just like the light at the end of the tunnel, as stressful as this process is about to be. And I had been not excited about it for a really long time because I've been so stressed out. I think today was just kind of like the turning point of like, I need to move. I need to get out of here. I need a house. I need a garage. Cloud needs a yard. Preferably a pool in the backyard would be great. I'm not gonna be too strict on what we're looking for though because anything is better than this apartment that I've been in for four years. Like my taste and decor has just changed so much like look at the bedroom we're definitely gonna be taking this bed frame with us i think this is gonna be like the guest room eventually i really like the bed frame but other than that like what is this this isn't even anything it's hideous these night tables that i got these lamps it's not even plugged in i don't use it i love this neon sign but it's just like not i'm, I'm 25 like i feel like i'm too old for this now and just like i the, the pillows just sit on the chair so that's useless hate all of this like i love the mirror the vanity I love all of this stuff, but I just, honestly, like, I hate the walls. I hate, I've hated this color of the wall since I moved in, and it's really just been irking me lately. But I just, like, I, I want a cute bedroom. I want to redo literally everything. So, that was my rant. Anyway, I am probably going to start planning out dinner. I think we're going to make, well, we're me. 
I'm in my stay-at-home era again. Gotta get used to this. Cooking dinner on every Monday and Wednesday because I'm home. Huh. But I'm gonna make the lobster ravioli that we got from Costco today with like a sun-dried tomato cream sauce, I think. I'm hoping it'll be really good. We've never tried the ravioli, so hoping it's not a bust. But I'm gonna go plan that out and then I'll take you guys through the cooking process tonight. Dinner time. I have the pasta boiling right now. As soon as that's done, I'm gonna throw the ravioli in there. It literally takes like four minutes. It's so easy to cook. Justin said to use both sides. This is only one container. I feel like that's enough. But we also didn't have a big lunch. I didn't even end up sna snacking on that much shrimp either. So like, I don't know. I don't wanna cook too much because I don't know if it'll be good left over. But I also don't wanna cook not enough. I don't know, I guess maybe when I pour it in the water, we'll see how much it is. But this is what I'm planning for the sauce. So I'm gonna saute some onion and garlic up first. And then once like that's fragrant, I'm gonna add heavy webbing cream, a decent amount of grated Parmesan cheese, a little scoop of cream cheese. I feel like it just thickens it up. Probably a little bit of um, pasta water too. And then I'm gonna add the sun-dried tomatoes in and I'm debating, I have this out just in case, I'm debating on adding a little splash of vodka sauce to make it a little bit more of like a pink sauce than just a white sauce. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna use that yet. I'm gonna see how much like what this looks like first before we go into that, but should be easy. I hate that I only have grated Parmesan. I don't have any like fresh shredded or literally anything else Parmesan. We do have mozzarella, but that's it. But we also don't have shredded. So that also like really doesn't count. So we're gonna start here. Hope it turns out I haven't made any of this, so this is a first for me. I just looked up a good sauce that would go with the um, lobster raviolis, and it was basically just like a white cream sauce. And then it had crushed up tomatoes, but I knew I wanted to use sun-dried tomatoes instead anyway. So it was basically what I was planning on doing anyway. It just like reassured me that this would go good with the lobster ravioli. I was really just winging this, but it looks so good like that kind of looks restaurant style quality i haven't tried it yet so that doesn't really mean much but presentation 10 out of 10. made some like italian bread well like i toasted it on the sides so it's not their bread anymore but taste test justin already tried it said he's good or said it's good he <laughs> probably said he's good too but mm. Do you taste the lobster? Um, I think it's hard to just because of all the uh, flavors on yeah. top of it. But it's phenomenal. I just don't taste the lobster, which I'm not mad about. I'm oh, I would rather have it that way than like super overpowering, probably. But it's really good. The sauce is so good. I was just throwing things together, but we're gonna go eat this. I have no idea what to watch. Love Island starts so soon and I cannot wait, but until then, I don't know. It is the next day and I just have to say, I don't know where the heck these skills came from, but I'm a phenomenal chef lately. That lobster ravioli was, I mean, the ravioli itself was good, but like the sauce that I just whipped up together, phenomenal. I feel like I'm getting that like chef's touch where like I don't even have to measure anything anymore. I can just eye everything, like I make it with love and it just tastes so good. I'm genuinely like so impressed and very proud of myself because like I've said many times growing up, I, I burnt Easy Mac in the microwave. Like I literally could not cook anything. Luckily, like I had an older sister, so Lexi cooked anything anytime we were home alone. I legit think the first, like if I had to cook something for myself, pretty sure I would just have a bowl of cereal. The first thing I learned to cook, I was probably like 16 and it was French toast. So we've come a long way and I am so happy about it. And I genuinely find such a, like a love and enjoyment and it's like therapeutic for me to cook. So let me know if I should start a cooking channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, we are going to end this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on all that. And I'll see you in the next video.